I'm Jauma. Hello, I'm Dean. In this video, we are going to talk about the 4K capabilities of the UE150 and its connectivity. Yeah, I think for a lot of customers that are coming from an HD background, it's nice to learn about the new 4K features of the PTZ, especially we have a brand new 4K sensor, and I think the formats are really important as well. Yeah, this camera supports USD 50p, but also supports 25p, and the camera can also be set in Full HD mode, so 1080, progressive or interlaced, and also 720p. Which is great for the broadcast market as well, to know that interlaced is also fully supported in HD, and I think one of the Oh, new features that we're doing is supporting HDR straight out of the head as well, which is a, a first for the PTZs, and that's a BT2020 uh, Hyperlog Gamma. So we can actually do live HDR transmission as well, and acquisition. And I think one of the most important questions as well is uh, the connectivity and how this all works with the formats. It supports, like you said, HD and 4K. So for HD, I have my monitor out, I have my 3G SDI, and I also have my HDMI, but you know, what is new and exciting is the 4K transmission. Yeah, in 4K the difficulty is, is to transmit 4K signals over long distances. So in this case, for the first time, we have 12G output directly from the camera. This is okay for 50, 60 meters. We can also use the HDMI output, but this is for even shorter distances. Very sure. So our recommendation for long distances is to use the fiber capability on this camera for, for the first time. Uh, we can connect a transceiver directly in the camera and use single mode fiber over several kilometers. And the good thing is this is an open protocol and we can use any receiver available in the market like this one from Asia to get a 12G signal. It's definitely a lot easier to uh, have it integrated and I can see it's just a, it's a nice plug and play solution in a lot of ways. And one of the other features that I've seen on the, on the back here is the streaming connection as well, so we can actually take an HD in a, or 4K stream out of the back of the camera to go along with our connections. Yeah, this is especially interesting for remote applications. You can get a HD or 4K signal remotely over a LAN cable. So we've covered a lot about the 4K sensor, we've covered a lot about the connections, and there's also a brand new feature called 4K crop. Yeah, this is another way of using the 4K sensor of the camera. So imagine that you are broadcasting in HD, thanks to this function you have four times more zoom and you can prepare up to three different angles. I can immediately see the benefits of that because it's like having two cameras in one. You have your wide angle and then you can crop into your HD image. So you could be someone on stage and you can hit a user button and easily punch in and then punch back out and move into another preset. And yeah, so. and uh, this function you can control easily from the new controller, from the RP150, but also you can control quite easily from the web browser with a new interface. So we've covered a ton of different detail in the sensor connectivity and the cropping, and we still have so much more to go. So see you in the next video. See you in the next video.